Hi there, thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. Hi guys, it's your girl Iris. Well, maybe not your girl, but my name is Iris. Welcome back. Well, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, follow, share my content. Thank you. In today's video, we are going to be talking about our schools. Okay, this is my sister, her name is Gloria, and as you already know, I'm Iris. I went to Agri Shopota Girls Senior High School in Takarate. And she is currently in Accra Girls Senior High School, right here in Accra. So we are going to, well, no disrespect. We are just going to have fun, catch cues. So if your school is Aggies and I say something or pass a comment that you don't like, please forgive me because this is just for entertainment purposes. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So we are going to go with um, talking about our first day at school and I'll go first. So we should go next. So my first day at school was quite sad. You know, all that comes with um, getting into a new environment. You don't know what to expect. You don't know how the dormitories are going to treat you and everything. So... My parents dropped me off and left. I was with this friend, thankfully. She's called Bernice. And um, we went to the same JHS. So when we got to the same school, it was nicer to have someone you know. Um, we didn't make any new friends, actually. Um, we were just roaming about. So in the evening, we were supposed to go to the dining hall and we were expecting food. We got there and then we were served with tea and bread with house sausage. The small sausage was into her, was cut into half. So, we, and the tea, eh? The tea, I don't know how to describe that tea. I don't know why I mix the tea with flour because that tea tastes different. It's very thick. It just looks funny, but it, it doesn't taste as bad. For me, I ate. I, I don't remember about, um, I don't remember what my friend did, but I remember eating that evening so that was my first day at school basically and what again i think the dormitory was very normal you know it was very normal everyone was quiet because you don't know anybody and my friend was in my house so yeah madam how was your first day at school my first day at school they brought some sisters they were called sisters because the form threes were not around so form twos were supposed to take care of us I got there around 6 p.m. in the evening and they went through my stars and everything and I I didn't want anyone to carry my trunk for me so I carried it myself and everyone was staring at me because like how can I carry the trunk all alone and I got to my deal there was this girl called Casey yeah, she was smiling smiling all over because she has already settled in and she has already made friends and I hadn't made any friends yet. I was so shy and everything. So how was your sleeping experience? What did you eat that evening? Okay, what so uh, that, that evening when I got there, they were done with supper. Yeah, but okay. I, that evening, they, they ate shallow rice and chicken. Yes. So you didn't eat that evening? No. You just slept like that? Yes, because oh. I had eaten from home. Okay, so that was about that. And um, moving forward, how was your first prep experience? Well, that was a Sunday, so we didn't go for prep. And the next day was Monday. We got up, dressed up, and everything. And the whole day was just boring because I didn't know anyone. We had to get sit in the assembly hall for orientation and that stuff. So in the evening, we went for prep. And because I didn't have a class, we had to prep in the dining hall. And I didn't want to sleep too, so I just took a storybook and I read. But our prefects, Charlie, hmm, they are so strict. They won't make you sleep. They should find you sleeping. They will wake you up. And no talking at prep. We don't talk. You don't even turn your back. Hey, she'll come back in the next three years with a different experience. Tell me. You're sitting here for a party. I'll see you. Sing that again. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm My first prep experience, look, we did, it wasn't prep. We were talking throughout. My first prep wasn't awkward because I was sitting with a group of people that I, I know sort of. And we had just got into school, but we're so excited about writing letters. I'm not even going to lie. So we're just talking about school, talking about experiences, talking about what we heard about 
other schools and everything but basically it wasn't any prep per se so um do you people have like grace period grace period we are school when you go to for like when you are a fresher for, i think for yeah. the first two weeks or something the sisters do everything for you they lay your bed they wake you up to go and bath they fetch water for you to bath they look for cubicle for you to bath and everything so like did okay. you have that uh, because i came late when i came the grace period was almost over but okay they treated me well they showed me where to bath they showed me how to lay my bed so here. um that's about that let's talk about the food let's talk about um the eating part thing in Archbishop Potter Girls, we had a food menu. Um, I can't really remember some, but I know that um, the food was basically good. Like, I didn't expect it, honestly. I never, never expected it. <laughs> the food was okay. Like, they give us beans with plantain. Me, I'll show you though. Because the stories I had heard about schools and all, and they give us beans with plantain. The food that nobody liked was the gary and palm nut soup like nobody like that food gary and palm nut soup for what go and ask your grandfather like it, nobody liked it and then samolina but along last they changed the samolina and then there was this yam they used to cook on saturdays my goodness the yam was i don't know if you take one you'll be okay for the hoodie but then we spoke about it and then they eventually changed it to rice yes so yeah, that's about that. Okay, so our food. Let me talk about our food. It's very, very nice. Uh, eh, yeah, sure. And haters gonna hate. Very, very nice. Are you my sister? Fine, yeah. <laughs> it's very you nice. You can buy it. <laughs> um, our breakfast, we take balsa cocoa, white porridge, um, tea, tea with bread and margarine, sometimes. Sure. No, I'm coming high hey. Me, my school. My Wait. school, we had bread uh -huh. with jam. We had bread with margarine sometimes. Look, we be, you see, even our cereals, they add milk. We be happy with school. Rashes, there was this food we used to call rashes. Come with the milk, come with the <laughs> So, our tea, we, we take our tea with bread and um, margarine sometimes. See, your tea, paste. your oh, tea, crap. I'm not sure that. Awesome, bro. How I, do they prepare your tea? I don't know. How am I, am uh -huh. I Me, my school, eh? You people, eh? Pack yourself. Hey, you, me, you my like... school. Me, my school. They used to bring a uh, cowbell choco. That cowbell, the one with choco malt. How about choco malt? Then they'll add the bread. Then they'll put the jam or the magi. You prepare your own tea. It's only Thursday tea that they prepare for us, but you prepare your own tea. She. So, our tea is nice. And we have um Tom Brown. Yeah, the t Tom Brown with bread. Some, sometimes see, it's Tom nice. Tom Brown with bread. Brown no with milk. Bread. So me my school they still, add milk. Still it's nice. <laughs> it's a rum with bread. Mm, that's all. Me my school they add milk. Okay, that's what I'm stressing on. They know the importance of a balanced diet. So they add protein. Protein by the water yeah. brown. Yeah. And granot. <laughs> Emotional damn it. <laughs> yeah. You that's why you have chubbox. You you take milk from your chubbox. <laughs> so you have chubbox. Uh -huh. So, is that all? Is that all you've got? Yeah, okay, our lunch. Our lunch Monday, we take wache with egg. Then mm. Tuesday, rice with palava sauce or something. Mm. Some mixtures. We, but know, you have Wednesday, a food menu. Yes, you have a food menu. But sometimes they don't follow the food. Look at that. Food Inconsistency. Food. Inconsistency. Can be. How can we be doing that? We have food menu. We follow it. Follow it promptly. Don't have time when you are going, you so know, this food is I'm food. Going to eat. food menu. Still, you cannot be coming to the hall and then not know what you are coming to eat. Ah, who does that? My dear, okay. Yeah? okay <laughs> so, our lunch Wednesdays, we take um beans with and they add fruits. Yes, beans with fruits. oh, please, you want to talk about fruits? Uh, they give us oh, wait, wait, they give wait. us fruits. Wait, relax, they give us fruits, okay. Potterians, ne absent some munim, ya my fruit. Why? Miss Le do they give you water in your hole? No. Ah, look at that. They give us water. In fact, we produce our own water. It is called potter spring. 
What's a spring? Mom, water card, they know once in a while. I mean, pass through and have a taste. <music> Moving on. <laughs> How many houses do you have? Just four houses. Mention them. Pink house, back mom, gift sending, I house. Sure. And you can see, I can see. Yes. Me, my house. Me, my school. Sorry, me, my school. We had a great house. Louis house. Jude House, Fexing House, Marian House, um, Teresa House, Joseph Mary, and now we have more. Like, we have, um, I've forgotten, but they've built new houses, okay? But me too, no, you know, oh, the house is floor, floor, floor. <laughs> it's not an entire building. Maybe two floors, then it's one house, two floors, then it's another house. But for Millennium Block, Joseph Mary was one floor. Marian House was two is it two yeah they had a little basement and then the ground floor right and then Teresa house was in the middle so your houses are they full blocks yes they are full blocks with nice gardens oh shall your church right with nice gardens somewhere. Uh -huh. my bath house no how was it like how is your bath house like okay well when i went to school they were like we have four months bath house then um form two's bath house form three were not around so for months we have uh, cubicles, but the form two is the bath in the big bathhouse. They all stand there, but look at that, look at that. How can you put girls in one pink house? But the other houses, I don't know. It doesn't matter if it's for pink house. I'm sure the other houses to be like that. You cannot put girls. I don't know. This that thing is done in boys' schools, so, and I'm also my bottom. But my school wasn't like that. We had cubicles, like in kitten, 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 kitten maximum two maximum of two people in one cubicle okay okay that is what you are no, supposed to do but okay yes. yeah <laughs> the phone was you have cubicles but that the phone is not my business i guess no don't come up to me this is just for entertainment purpose all right thank you so how is your entity how is your entertainment like hey i guess first when you got to school saturdays we prep from nine huh. to sometimes to one story wait from <clears throat> to one then in the evening we prep again but later on we told our head mistress and she changed it so now we go for entertainment on saturday's night okay, that's <laughs> from seven to nine o'clock entertainment yeah our entertainment was also from seven to nine o'clock and don't try it it was mm -mm. And when you are playing that song, your entertainment and forget, forget. If you don't have to dance, you would dance. Oh, but it was mostly fun. It was mostly fun. My first entertainment experience, and you just be dancing, and seniors to come and drag you to come and dance among them. Then when you finish, they'll be asking you about your boyfriend, the school he is in, what school you rep, those kind of things. Eh? They'll be asking you about it. But <clears throat> it was fun. Like, entertainment was bougie. Bougie. You understand? I said, entertainment like. Uh, it's very nice. Like, if you are a child, you're like, you dance entertainment. Like, hey, I guess entertainment. Shall I go to the sisters bullying you? Because me. Nobody bullied me. Okay, so when we went, the form twos were around, no form threes. So, no bullying there, nothing. But when the form threes came, you will carry chop box and trunks as if you are working in the market, you are a head porter. You just be carrying chop boxes and trunks here and there, here and there. When they settled in, they will come and call you. What's the name of your boyfriend? Tell me the name of my ex. What's my name? What's my full name? Where do I come from? Do we ask those sort of questions? Okay, okay me. Um, I remember like I think the first week or something. Yeah, we went on Thursday, right? So on the Saturday after inspection and everything, when we we're just in the dormitory doing nothing, I remember the seniors called us all the form ones to come and then they were asking us, oh, write write about your boyfriend. Um, those things like just the normal disturbing things. Hey, let me. I got a hint that if they ask you which school is your boyfriend in, 
say at this adult college so that do not stress you because they like this adult college a lot my dear when they asked me i just said at this adult college i don't like stress but then with time i started developing a liking for that school like that school is bougie please if you don't like at this adult college don't come for me i said what i said and i'm not sorry yeah i love at this adult college come and beat me that's why you have your badges and your pillow okay. yeah 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 tell them tell them tell them tell them tell them <gasps> see i d <laughs> i love the school i I drew the crest. The crest on her pillow. On my pillowcase. So. Oh, what's your boy's school? Thank you, Aquinas. Hmm? Aquinas. My boy's school is St. John's. They are in um, Taka, the Oki. Okay. So, moving on, we'll talk about academics. Right? Yeah, I think it's important to talk about academics. I, I don't have any uh, measuring, I don't know how to put it. To measure their academics right now but i feel like we can just touch on it a bit like just a little so i did business okay she's doing general arts i know that in my school and um, business students have the option the only option that i have to choose between is accounting or elective math so it's either you're doing elective math or you're doing accounting and i know for science students i think science students didn't really have a choice of it's just chemistry, biology, physics, and I've forgotten. They didn't really geography. have... Yeah. Yeah, geography. I don't know. That's your school. But I think my school, science students really didn't have a choice. I'm not really sure. Let's just forget about that. So I know for science students. So she's going to talk about... Okay. And then I know for general arts. I know PS and PS. We call them pure science and then pure arts. Pure art was economics, French, literature, and French. And pure science was economics geography i've forgotten honestly i'm not the best person to say that so let us see general arts Moscow, okay for general arts we have economics elective math um geography government history crs french or literature yes but me i'm in that one so i do elective math economics geography French or literature, and I do French. I like, I'll give that to them. I feel like <clears throat> it's good that you can do geography and still have the opportunity to do French because for my school, you didn't have that chance. Like, you're either doing French with the literature courses or you're in the um, geography class. I feel like the combinations were in the best, like at Archbishop, when it comes to some of the programs, you know. But basically, for business, I think it was good. Um, I think it was okay. But I feel like they can insert some French in there because, like, French should cut across so that when you want to study French, you still have the opportunity to study. You don't have to be an accident to study French. I feel like French should run through science, economics, visual art, like you get, like, it should run through all the programs so that we all have the chance to be bilingual. Okay, so that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you had fun. Please don't forget to follow, like, comment, and share. And um, I'll see you in another video shortly. Bye! Bye.